Hey, welcome everybody. It's good to be here. Hope you had a great week, great couple of weeks. This world's an exciting place to live in, isn't it, right now? Um, something I wanted to share with you. For those who are going to be participating, this is the routine, if you're able to see it. This is what we're going to be doing. Now, we're going to be doing a senior aerobics program. So some of this might seem a little intense, but the way we're going to approach it will be a little bit different. So I want everybody who wants to participate, get your solar sizers ready, get, uh, get dressed in something that you're comfortable with, and, and then we'll get, we'll get started as soon as we have a chance to go over some of the customer reviews and some of the questions that you, you've shared with us. I want to thank you again, all of you. It's like a great big family. Every week that I come to work, every day that I come to work, I have an opportunity to be able to share with, with so many of you um, as far as the achievements and the challenges and the things that you are accomplishing and sharing with others and the experiences and the stories. And someday we're going to have to get it put together in a book so you, you have access to a lot more of these because cellular size has been absolutely amazing. I want to talk a little bit about something we're all hearing about with regards to the coronavirus. We don't know the extent of what that is going to do. Um, we know that as a human race, we've never been exposed to this type of virus, this particular virus before. So we don't have any, any way to combat it other than our own natural immunity and, and, and immune systems. With that said, I want to reiterate, I really truly believe everybody, every home, every household should have a solar sizer. When I had my blood tested several years ago, one of the things that the nurse said when they were looking at my blood, they said that my cell membrane of the blood cells was thicker and that the viruses, and they could see some of the viruses that I've been exposed to, the viruses were bouncing off of the cell. And I said, what does that mean? She said, well, they're trying to find a place where they can propagate and grow, and they can't. And I said, that's a good thing. And they said, oh yeah, that is a good thing, because it gives the immune system the ability to destroy the virus without the virus getting into a group of sticky blood cells and without any threat of the immune system so that they can continue to grow and spread. But we also know through Dr. Arthur C. Guidance's work, work in his book, Medical Physiology, that if we get on the cellar sizer and we run as fast as we can for just one minute, we can increase the number of active white blood cells in our body by 10 to 15 times. And they stay, up there, stay there for up to one hour. That's like every hour giving ourselves our own natural antibiotic. And I really believe that the solar sizer, whether it's this particular health issue or another one down the road, is going to make it easier for us to be able to get the exercise we need, maintain our health and fitness and, and strength without having to go somewhere else to be exposed to a lot of various different illnesses and germs when that might become a problem. So again, why work out when you can play in? You want to make it convenient fun and easy for everybody. Christine, do we have any customer reviews that we want to share? We do, and I think the second one might be a duplicate, so that's my apology, but I think it'll be great to read anyway. Okay, appreciate that. Thank you very much. I want to thank everybody out there who has been sending in your requests for what, we, what you would like us to target and work on and develop with specific to what many of your goals and objectives are. That input this last couple of weeks has been fantastic. And we're going to be digesting a lot of that, putting things together so we can work on programs designed to help you get the results that you're interested in. So thank you very, very much. All right, this one comes from Judy. I love the very helpful and inspiring YouTube videos, and I love using my trampoline. I just received my trampoline yesterday in the mail. I've been using it using a $90 trampoline that I bought from Amazon. I enjoyed it so much that I did my homework and looked at a number of more expensive trampolines and the cellar sizer would fit my needs beautifully. I, did, I decided to buy up from my present $90 trampoline. 
and the cellar sizer is gentler on my joints. My husband is now interested in rebounding after watching Dave's YouTube and trying out our new cellar sizer. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Judy. All right, and then this one here. My cellar sizer brought me back to health. Three and a half months ago, I had a horrendous bike accident, which left me with a brain concussion, cracked face, shoulder, hip, and pelvis. After two and a half weeks of physical therapy, floor of the hospital, I came home still using a walker. I started on my tramp just sitting and raising my legs. I gradually increased adding standing and adding baby bounces. After three and a half months, my balance and vision have returned. My doctors have been amazed at my recovery, which normally takes six to eight months. I still have some hearing loss, which may not correct, but my body feels back. Hooray for my solicitor. Thank you, David. And thank you. It's Kaylin. Thank you, David. I've had some great customer reviews on the app. People are using the app, and they're getting some wonderful results, and they're sharing some great recommendations as well. I want to thank you for that. We've had people that have had migraines uh, call up recently and talk about what it's done to help them. Uh, there's, there's, there's a great many, and i sorry we didn't pull more aside tonight, but we'll read them next week. Christine, we've we got some questions? questions. Let's do it. Okay, I think I probably better get closer to you because last time I wasn't loud enough, so I apologize. Okay, here we go. I would love to know if there is a time frame for results. I have been extremely consistent this January, finally. But so far, other than strength and endurance, not much is physically obvious. My goal is toning and weight loss. So is it six weeks, six months? And when should I see changes in my, if I am consistent? And that goes along with another one that's similar that says, how to improve toning. So I'm thinking that's kind of where she's coming from, so. Good. The toning is going to be done through the isometric, the isotonic combination where we alter the angle of our body to create leverage. It's also done in resistance movements. And so those, anytime you alter the angle of your body a little bit and tilt backwards, all of those muscles are tightening. As you're doing the aerobic activities, you're burning off the weight, but you're also tightening and toning the muscles. So in our senior aerobics tonight, toward the very end where we're doing the baby dance that says two minutes, and then another two minutes. We're gonna be working on toning the arms for those two minutes, the back and the front of the arms, even though it's working every other area of the body as well. Let's go ahead and anything else. Okay. And there is no time frame, right? Everybody's body is different. Everybody's body is different. You should be noticing results, number one, in how you feel, how you perform, and your balance and your energy levels. Circulation can be dramatically improved. Um, the body works, solar size works from the inside out. So you may not necessarily see everything initially. Um, weight loss, you know, I tell people, think more of the inches. If your pants are fitting looser or your shirts are, are fitting better, um, think more along those lines because muscle weighs more than fat. And solar size is weight bearing on every protein fiber throughout your entire body not just certain muscles. So as the protein to fat ratio increases, then your metabolism, metabolic process start to increase as well. Okay, let me get to my next page here, and I apologize. Okay. How about kids with autism? Have you seen any oh. results with that? Um, these kids often struggle with coordination, balance, and sensory integration challenges. I don't know for sure, but it seems to me that rebounding could be the most beneficial in their development. You know, that's, thank you, Christine. That's, uh, we have people that are young and old that have, have and have autism that cellar size, and it's a release. It releases the energy. It's healthy. They, the parents have called me up to say thank you. Some of them are a little hard on their unit, but, they wouldn't trade it for anything because it's better to be hard on the unit than hard on the furniture and different, <laughs> different other um, issues within the home. So the cellar sizer has been used in schools as well as is at home to help children with autism, children with uh, attention deficit disorders, 
um, uh, men and women with post-traumatic stress disorders because it creates balance in the body. It releases stress and tension. It helps you feel better. And when you feel better and you're both more physically and, and we wonder if it's not also challenging us chemically, balance that we just perform better. And I, I'm grateful for those who have shared that. Okay. Okay, so we've had several that came through that asked about somatizing and cancer. Okay. Is there anything, you know, is there something they should be concerned about or is it helpful? It's always good to check with your doctor or health practitioner because when you check with your doctor or health practitioner, I don't know what your medical condition is. What I do know is that cellular size stimulates lymphatic circulation. Um, we can increase the efficiency of the immune system. Dr. Lorraine Day has been a customer of mine. She's a customer of mine for, for many, many years. She and both her mom had also picked up the cellular sizer. She's got a website, drday.com, a lady of incredible integrity. But she has, um, she talks about the immune system and the lymphatic system, and cellular size helps to improve the natural performance of the lymphatic system, which holds a negative pressure. And so movement up and down causes suction. As we vacuum out the internal environment of the body, as we activate the lymph system, as we stimulate the, the white blood cell count in our body, our, we're, we're literally increasing the ability of the body to perform more efficiently. Now, there was an article written in the Townsend Letter for Doctors several years ago by Dr. Martin Walker talking about a gentleman named Sam Kofsky, who had cancer and wasn't expected to live. And in that letter, it's... Um, it talks about how he was doing the mini trampoline and how he recovered and the doctors didn't think he would. I think the body has got an enormous amount of health potential and there's movements that we can do on the cellular side not only to improve lymphatic circulation but also to improve the oxygen into the bloodstream as well as metabolic processes through the breathing and the movements in and out um, and the pumping up and down which pumps more lymph system and lymph movement as well. So. All right. Okay. So talking about poor circulation, um, how does it, how long does it take to get tingling in hands from health bounce? It seems <laughs> my hands have poor circulation and I can bounce for a long time and do not feel it in my fingers. They're, they're cold, my fingers are white and cold most of the day, any recommendations? Yeah. Circulation can take some time. And moving up and down on a cellular sizer, depending on what your circulation level is right now, I tell people just hold your fingertips straight down. Communicate with those fingertips. And just continue to do it until eventually you start feeling that circulation in those extremities. It can take some time to open up the circulation. I don't know what, there could be restrictions, there could be, you know, obviously poor circulation causes limbs and body parts to be colder. And so as we're moving up and down, the pressure changes, it's moving fluid up and down through the body. And that, uh, that can eventually improve the circulation. So all I know is it's doing it. Now, whether you're able to feel it yet or not, um, just, I'd encourage you to continue to. Okay. What exercises help with ribs and muscles in between them that is very sore from a chiropractic adjustment? Yeah. That's, there are, there's movements that we teach on the DVD, such as taking the right elbow, sticking it up over your head, gently leaning to the left to open up the vertebral joints as well as, as the rib cage, and then just gently moving up and down. So you're massaging that tissue, taking pressure off and doing the same thing in the other direction. Those can be very, very good movements. Um, tilting a little bit and taking the right leg and crossing it in front. Now it's working all the way up and down this whole side of the body. So those are some good movements. Okay. I love doing the whippy ski patrol because it automatically helps to readjust and, and improve the flexibility in those areas. All right, can you discuss working out with some nerve pain? I kind of overdid it on the drama run and have been experiencing a lot of burning and leg pain for about a week now. I guess I was so excited I overdid it. 
It's hard to do that on a jump run. I'm curious a little bit more where that um, nerve, where, where you might be feeding that. Um, it's not a jarring effect, so it's not in the back, but we're concentrating more on the thighs and the knees. Um, if, if there's something in the hip area, then there are movements that we do for loosening up this area of the body. And the twist, gentle twist, is one of them. Keeping the hips straight ahead and gently twisting in the hip socket area is another one. Um, this helps to loosen all the muscles and in the stress or tension that might irritate a nerve. But I need a little more information to uh, be able to address that. Well. Okay, and because um, normally, if, if it's a nerve pinch nerve, it's normally from doing something that's more like this, where you're not strong enough yet, and as you're kicking back, you might be working the the muscles in the back, and that might be a little more intense. And so we generally we would back off of that a little bit. I'll reach out and see if she'll give us more information. Good. Okay. How does the health bounce wake you up in the morning, yet make you fall asleep at night? I am afraid to bounce health bounce at night because I don't want to keep it. I don't want it to keep me awake at night. Good question. Okay, look at a baby. When a baby is fussy, and we want them to relax so they can go to sleep, you'll see a mother instinctively often take a baby, put her over, put them over their shoulder, and gently bounce the baby up and down. It doesn't wake the baby up more. It helps the baby relax. When we have stress and tension in the body, and we can't release it, and the body's tense, and we're tossing and turning, I'll get on the cellar And I do that same technique where I focus on the fingertips. I move up and down gently until I can feel a throbbing or pressure at the fingertips, and then I just relax. Just gently move up and down. Relax your, your back, your buttocks, your shoulders. Just relax, don't fall off, but just relax. And do that for about two, three minutes, and go directly to bed. You don't have to toss and turn to get rid of the stress now. Move it up and down, have to release it. Now, in the morning, when we sleep at night, the body's not very stimulated, and the lymphatic system isn't very stimulated, and the circulation has a tendency when we're laying down horizontally to redistribute itself. Um, to find a balance, a lot of that goes to the head and we might be a little puffy underneath the eyes. And we get on the solarizer and we gently start to move up and down. It's the wake up call. So as we're moving up and down, the thyroid, the adrenals, the endocrine system are all being stimulated. The moving up and down is moving up circulation, it's activating the lymphatic system. All of your internal organs, connective tissues, are expanding and contracting collectively together all at the same time. So it creates homeostasis or balance in the body. And I believe it's the best wake up call we can do. So when people ask me, they, is it better to do it in the morning or in the evening? I, I think it's better if you have time to do it in the morning. If you did nothing more than two to three minutes of the gentle health bounce or baby bounce, it helps to break up the sticky blood cells so we can increase more oxygen, blood flow and circulation um, through the whole body. Okay. I've had my solicizer for almost a year and I love it. I have a friend who's interested but is concerned due to breast implants. Is there any concerns with rebounding? Well, if you can be active in other activities, it's, it's pretty safe to say you can be active with solicizer. Again, consult with your doctor and find out what limitations or restrictions you might have. The advantage of solicizing versus going out and hitting a hard surface is you don't have the jarring effect. You get the G-forces, you're getting all the benefits, but without the detriment of hitting a hard surface. So it makes it easier on the body without as much jarring. Now, depending on how well endowed you are, it is important to wear some kind of a sports bra or support so that as you're moving up and down, um, it's not causing any protein fibers to break or that run through the breast or causing um, any breakdown in the breast tissue. In fact, it actually, when you're moving them down on a cellar sizer and you're supported, it helps to strengthen the protein fibers that run through the breast. Okay. Alrighty. How can cellar sizing help with tight hip flexors? Okay. This movement here that I was showing you where we can lift our arm and lift over the head, we can gently, this takes this whole muscle here. 
This one here that we're going to do tonight, this one here is excellent for the hip area as well. This one here, where we're gently keeping our hips straight ahead, but we're loosening up the muscles in this area. Those all target, very gently, but target and loosen and strengthen that whole hip joint area. Okay, this is going to be our last question for okay. tonight. Um, how to work out on the cellar sizer with arthritic knees? Okay. Again, medical condition, you have to say consult with the doctor. But the movement up and down stimulates circulation. Our objective when we're working and targeting the knees is to strengthen the supporting muscle and the ligaments around the knee. So they support the knee better so we get more circulation between the joint. When those muscles and ligaments are compromised, and we don't have enough support, we get too much pressure on the joint. That's where we end up with these compounded problems. So our objective, let's get the strength and the support mechanism and then move circulation through the joint so we can start promoting the, the healing process. And we're gonna, <laughs> gonna be doing the Jamba Walk today um, a few times, but that's this one here. And when you bend the knee, it's not just on vertical pressure on the joint. You bend, so now these muscles come into play. And as you gently walk in place with these muscles getting stronger, they're going to start to support the knee better. And when we're rocking side to side, we're working the lateral knee, both sides of the knee. And those muscles and ligaments get, get stronger as well. <laughs> We've worked with so many people that have had knee issues, and I've worked and been privileged to work with doctors and as well as trainers in helping to rehabilitate the supporting muscle and ligaments around the knee so that people are able to run again. People are able to have a, a better quality of life again because of what the cellular size has been able to do for them. It's not a cure-all for everybody, but I can tell you so many stories of people that are enjoying a quality of life now that they never thought they'd have again because of what the cellular size has done for them and their needs. Okay. Ready? We're All ready. right. Okay, so we're going to start off with a gentle baby bounce. And when we're doing that, if you want to move down a little bit, you can. And we're going to go to the hip rock. And again, for those who don't know the hip rock, it's on our app. And we'll make this, Christine will put this online so you can build it into your own app so you can follow the same routine. But we're going to do that for 30 seconds. And when you're doing it, you're you're pushing down into the mat. You're getting a little bit of movement in the hip area because we, we really want to loosen those muscles um, and strengthen that. Then we're going to do the twist. And the twist, real gentle. We're just going to lift the heels up and down. If you feel any stretch, don't go past that. Just go very gentle. Um, that starts to loosen up the back. And we're going to work on the smooth muscles from the inside too, digestion elimination processes. Um, then we're going to do the sprint. We're going to do that for two minutes. I'm going to, there's several vari variables on this. You can sprint like this, just do the walk. Um, if you can lift your knees up, lift your knees up. If you get tired lifting your knees up, then just go back. Just keep moving while you're doing it so the cells are still working. Um, if you want to do more intense as you're sprinting, hold your shoulders back and your head back. And it works on your posture. Don't do it too much. You don't want to pinch a nerve. But, but as you do that, as you open up the rib cage and bring your shoulders back as you're jogging, those muscles are becoming stronger to help support your back and your shoulders. So um, tightening your stomach is going to work more on these muscles while you're doing it. Tilting slightly, if you can, is going to leverage more weight in this area as well. So again, we're going to do it for about two minutes and do it so where it's comfortable and you, you now, you've got those variables that you've worked with. Um, then we're going to do the Jamba Walk. We'll do the Jamba Walk for about 30 seconds. This is a senior aerobic. It is intense, but it's not, it's not I mean, we're not doing it like the Jamba Run. The Jamba Rock can be very, Jamba Walk can be very, very slow and, and very comfortable. Our objective is to challenge the supporting muscles and ligaments in that area. 
You don't have to overdo it though. If you get to the point where you're tired, just go to the health bounce and gently wait for us to begin the next set. So then we'll go from the jamba walk, we'll go to the sprint moderate again. We're going to do the jumbo walk for 30 seconds again. Then we're going to do the whippy ski patrol. Now the whippy ski patrol is where the shoulders and the back, we're, we're going gently lifting the shoulders and the hips. And you can hold on to the bar, do it this way too. But we're loosening all the muscles along the vertebral joints and the hips as we're gently jumping side to side. Then we're going to do the twist again. Then we're going to do the sprint moderate again. Remember, it's aerobics. Our objective here is to burn some calories, build up our cardiovascular system, pulmonary system. And then we'll do the jamba walk again. Then we're going to do the sprint moderate again. Then we'll do the jamba walk for 30 seconds. And then we can start relaxing because <laughs> after we've done the jamba walk for 30 seconds, then we're going to do the baby bounce. And, and this time when we do the baby or health bounce, I wrote tighten. It says tighten. What we want to do is tighten all of the muscles as we're gently moving up and down. So as we're tightening all these muscles, we've got an isometric with an isotonic, more weight. And including the sphincter muscle. Tighten the sphincter muscle as well. Okay, then we're going to do the baby bounce. We're going to work on the right arm. So our, our objective is to build up the muscles. In, in the forearm and the back of the arm for toning purposes. So we'll build up muscles, you'll be pumped a little bit afterwards and you'll feel that. But it's very effective and the rest of the body is always working even though we're focusing on this area. So we'll do this to the count of four up and then count of four down. We'll do that for about two minutes on the right arm and then we'll do it on the left arm. And we'll do the whippy ski patrol again to help loosen everything up. And then we'll just do the baby bounce for 30 seconds and we're done. Now the whole routine, we're going to be together for about 18 and a half minutes. So um, do it with us as you can. And then share your experiences, what you like, what was hard, what was easy, what you would like to see. Um, remember, I'm here for you. And I want to know what it is that you'd like to accomplish and, and what you feel comfortable with. So we'll go ahead and get started. And turn the music up. We're going to do the health bounce for a minute. I'll count down the rip. 45 seconds now. And the objective here, we're opening up circulation to the body. We're getting rid of stress and tension. We're warming up all the tissue in the body. Now we're going to balance and equilibrium so you can hold on to the bar. That's perfectly fine. All right, we're down to 20 seconds. It's so nice to have that little spot there now. I'm going to do the hip rod. And again, this is also working digestion elimination. All your internal organs are moving up and down as we're lifting the shoulders and loosening up the lower back and again, hold on to the down side of the spine. Hey, the twist. We're on the mat the whole time. It's just our heels that come up and down. And just gently twist. And all we're doing right now is we are preparing our body for the aerobic activity. But we're also massaging the liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, the adrenal, digestive tract, loosening up the lower back. This is the second most important movement I teach. Alright, and now we're doing the jump around. So you can do it as a walk or a run. And you can hold on to the bar. 
still a little more advanced, but that's going to help this area more. We're just going to enjoy this for a couple minutes. So concentrate on lifting your knees up higher if you can. But don't overdo it. No need to. How you doing, Christine? Oh, I'm good. All right. And Christine is doing it like this, which is good. Okay, 25 seconds to go. Then we're going to do the Jamba Walk for 30 seconds. Now you can start off real easy with that. Eight, seven. All right. So Jamba Walk. We're kind of keeping our back straight, our feet flat, and we're just pushing down into the mat. Ten seconds to go. If you want to go a little harder, you can. Okay, now we're going to try again. Start off easy. Reminder for those who want to work on the stomach more. Kind of pull that in. Back to the jumble run. Right now. Oh, it's a jumble walk. <laughs> and then go slow. You don't have to do it again. You should feel it. Keeping your back straight and your feet flat. Should be feeling it all through this area. With these feet the cold. That's good. 
Good, Trixie. Be gentle. Especially if you haven't done this much. Swift. Okay, when we get our wind back and we're ready, we're going to do another jump and run. But if your knee's that high at all, you still get benefits. Let's do what you're comfortable with. I don't know what the weather is like in your neck of the woods, but it's about in the mid for right here to be tough. And you're dropping. One minute to go. Twenty seconds. Doing good. Now, oh, going pretty quick. Number one. All right. We're down there at the sprint water just before the last jungle walk. If you're still on it, I'm proud of you. That's good. Just, if you can, just stay on it. You're going to enjoy the benefits. One minute to go. Last 30 seconds and go 
slower and fast as you want. Ten seconds. Last down the water. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then we're going to do the baby bounce where we tighten the muscle. Ten seconds. Okay, tighten stomach, shoulders, arms, buttocks, stinky muscle, the legs, you're a board, a solid board as we're gently bouncing up and down now. Ten seconds ago. I have found this movement to be very helpful in toning the body. Okay, gentle health balance. Okay, we're going to start with the arm, right arm, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, four, three, Two, three, four. If you need to hold on a bar and you can't do this, then push down on the bar with your arms as you're moving up and down. It works the back of the arms too. Okay, one minute to go. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Two. Concentrate on the resistance in the arm. You're pulling up with your right arm, and you're pushing down with the left arm. Thirty seconds ago, and then we'll switch on. Good job. Okay, last ten seconds. Okay, now we're gonna switch on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Perfect. I hope you're feeling a little burn in your arms and if you're not, you can do it a little bit longer. If you're doing it, you're really concentrating on resisting, you should be feeling that. And your arms actually get a little pumped after this. They'll be a little pumped tomorrow too. It's nice. But you're not tearing down to build up. We do this every day. We do it several times a day. That's the advantage of solar fights, is we don't tear down to build up. We just increase the weight and the resistance. And we get stronger. Which also increase the flexibility as you're moving up and down. Because all the ligaments from your tendon are weightless and then weight it over a hundred times a minute. So it'll be massage and strengthen at the same time. In future movements, we will 
in some of the modules that we'll be creating for the mystery down the app. We will target one of the shoulders, the knees, the hips, and, and the back. So we'll have one live look on that. I'm working with some, some trainers, physical therapists, uh, so that I can uh, represent it well. The techniques I've been doing for come in 20 to 30 years. All right. Okay, good these keys control. And holding on to the bar. Absolutely fine. Holding on to the bar gives you more confidence, so you put a little bit more effort into your routine. You're not worried about that. Okay, this is a pull down. Relax your shoulders, back, buttocks. Breathe, breathe in deep. Breathe out. You're getting that oxygen. A technique that I'll do that I can't recommend because it might keep you busy and I don't want you to fall over is to, uh, is to breathe in and then hold, I hold my breath for a moment and that helps to really increase that oxygen in the bloodstream but it uh, can make it a little busy too. So. All right, congratulations. Um, please continue to spread the word. We are a movement and it is catching on and you can't deny it and the, the results are, you know, they're, they're there. I don't know of anything better as far as a health and fitness program um, than solar size. And I've mentioned before, it's been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man. And in many respects, I think that's probably true. So I want you to enjoy a good quality, energetic, wonderful um, and healthy week. And while you play in instead of work out, We'll look forward to, to sharing the rest of this week with you and look forward to spending some time together again next week. Thank you very much.